You're listening to a North York Community House podcast. Welcome to New Generation. We bring you voices from North York Community House to share stories of love, community, and family. Personal stories that connect us all. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us where you and your family are from? Yeah, definitely. My name is Tanuj. Um, I'm from Canada, but my ethnicity is Indian. So my family Mm -hmm. is from India and we've been living here for about 15 years now. Mm -hmm. Um, A little bit about me is that I'm a university student. I'm at York University and I'm in their concurrent education program. So I'm studying to become a teacher in the future. Mm -hmm. Uh, In terms of what I do, I currently work in education. So I do a job with Be Ambassadors Canada, where I teach about pollinators. And I'm also volunteering with uh, North York Community House in their homework club. When you hear the word community, uh, what do you think of? The first thing that comes to mind is support. So like Mm -hmm. a group of people that are always there for each other, that support each other. And I would say like no matter what happens, they're always there for you. So maybe Mm -hmm. unconditional love would be something I would describe a community with. What do you think about when you hear family? So for family, it's it's a similar thing for me because I kind of think of family as like a chosen family, like the group that you choose to like support yourself with. And to me, a family is basically like a community, maybe a tighter circle of people, your like closest people mm. that you are with. But in the same way, like someone that su- um, some people that support you or you can go to no matter what happens. Can your friends be family or... Uh who you think might be a family for you. Yeah, I definitely think so. I feel like family is, like for me, it's a more vague term. It's not just like your blood relatives, like who gave birth to you or who you live with mm-hmm. per se, but more so like the people that you feel closest to. So that can definitely include friends mm. or anyone else. Interesting, interesting. Um, what do you think makes a good community? So a good community to me, I think you have to have like communication. So especially like sometimes in my neighborhood, at least I wouldn't say we're the best community because everyone's, you know, in their own little houses. Uh, You don't really talk to each other that much. But I think just communicating with each other, you know, making sure to like ask how someone's day was going or just get to know each other. That's a really important step. Mm -hmm. Um, Something else that's important to me is support, like I mentioned before. Um, And I think like celebration. So being respectful to everyone and celebrating everyone in that community is also really important. Hmm. Okay. Uh, What makes a good family in your opinion? What do you think about it? Yeah, I would say the same thing for family as well. Like just being sure that you're respectful to everyone, you talk to each other, you know, get to know everyone in your family and be there for one another. Hmm. Um, How can you connect like family and community? What do you think? How it may be connected? Yeah, that's a a really good question because sometimes family stops at like the wall of your home and everyone else, you know, people might think like, oh, who cares about what happens to anyone else? I'm just here to like care for my family. Um, I think it's important to see like all humans as brothers and sisters or however else you Mm want to think about it. Like know that family isn't just defined by who you associate with by your blood or anything like that. It's more so humanity, like your community is also your family. So trying to expand your mindset. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh, what do you think about love in family and the community? How can you connect uh, what you just explained with love? Mm. I think for me, love is like sometimes you define love as what you can benefit from someone. Like you might think you love someone, mm-hmm. but it's more so because they have like something to offer to you or something that they're that you're benefiting from, whatever that might be, companionship or anything and then as soon as that ends that relationship might fall apart i think love has to be unconditional and i Mm -hmm. think that's a common theme that i brought up throughout the interview so far but um yeah love has to be unconditional it's not like a transaction between Mm -hmm. two people but more so like the relationship that you're forming with another Mm. person oh i see um so uh, you said that your family is from India. So your first language is Indian, right? 
or hot so cow? we like it depends like where in India you're from. So mm-hmm. my family is from Gujarat, mm-hmm. but they had moved to a state called Maharashtra a long time ago. So they speak like a mix of different languages. Mm-hmm. So on my mom's side, they speak Hindi and Marathi, and then on my dad's side, they speak Gujarati. But then after moving to Canada, English became like the first language that's spoken at home. But we mm. still do speak the other languages as well. Mm. Mm-hmm. I see. So, um, do you know how to say a community or f- uh, yeah? Do you know how to say community on the language f- of your parents? On, yeah, on your um, like, I think I'm not sure if it's a direct translation, but you could say satya. Which means a group of people that are close mm-hmm. together. Okay. Uh, what about family? Family would be parivar. Parivar. Yeah. Oh, interesting. When you say it on your language, uh, what does it mean? Yeah, there is like some a few events that come to mind, especially in terms of community. There's this organization like similar to North York Community House. It's the Gibson House Museum. And when we first moved to Canada, like my parents were new here, like they were struggling to. And that organization like really took us in and they made us feel like part of the community. Like they invited us to events, you know, they didn't treat anyone differently just because they might not speak a certain language or talk a certain way. And I think that is what really broadened my perspective on community and language as well. Like you don't need to know anything about a person to treat them like family. Yeah, so that's... That's probably where that started for me. Okay, I think that's it. That was all our questions. Thank you very much for coming. Yes, yeah. I really like the questions, especially the one about like, does family mean something different in your language? And unfortunately, I wasn't able to add too much to that. But I think that is a really interesting question because languages differ so much, right? And and what the definitions are. I'd love to hear what other people have to say on that. Thanks for listening to our podcast. This podcast was made with love by youth at the North York Community House. This podcast was generously sponsored by IRCC, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. You can learn more about the North York Community House at nych.ca. If you like this show, please share it with your friends and family and tell a neighbor about all of the exciting things happening at the North York Community House. Okay, we'll see you again next episode. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.